everyone. So today we're going back to the basics and I'm gonna show you how to steer a horse. And before we get started, why don't you comment your favorite horse movie or TV show down below. So right off the bat, one of the first things you would learn if you were to go to a horseback riding lesson is how to steer your horse. And so in the beginning, you're gonna be taught how to steer just off of your rein pressure. So I'm gonna show that to you now, and then I'm also gonna incorporate some leg pressure and seat movement uh, so you can steer your horse more effectively and communicate better with them. So in order to steer correctly, you need to be able to hold your reins correctly. So real quick, I'm just gonna review how you can hold your reins and then we'll cover steering. So to hold your reins correctly, you can put the rein in between your pinky and your ring finger, and then you're gonna put your thumbs on top. And so this will give you a nice secure grip on your reins. And then another thing you can do is just lean back and hold some pressure to see if they're even. So right now I see that my reins are even, so that means I can communicate with my horse more effectively. Okay, so to properly steer your horse with your reins, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna open your hand in the direction you want the horse to go. So if I want the horse to go right, I'll open this hand. You see his nose tilts this way. If I want him to go left, I'll open this hand. And so what you're basically doing is you're just kind of opening your elbow right here and bringing your hand out rather than back because back will ask the horse to back up. So see if I go like that, he starts backing. So I wanna open out and not back. So if you're new to this, you may feel compelled to pull your arm all the way out here to turn your horse. But the good news is, all you have to do is just slightly open your hand away from the horse's neck to encourage them to move this way. As you continue to ride, you'll learn how to give more subtle cues so that you don't have to pull your arm all the way over here. But for now, if you're new to this, and you have to do this in order to not pull back, then that's fine. And that will just help get you used to opening your hand to steer the horse rather than pulling back. So another thing to note is the wider you open your hand, the tighter the horse will turn. So if you'll see here, I open my hand really wide, Tucker turns really tight. Compared to if I just kind of open my hand here, he'll go more in a bigger circle. Good boy. So if you're steering with this hand, you may be wondering what you do with the other hand that you're not using. Believe it or not, but this hand and this rein have a job as well. So if I'm steering with my right rein here, what I'm gonna do with my left rein is I'm just gonna hold it, not tight so I'm pulling, but just with pressure on it so I have that connection with the horse's mouth. And I'm just gonna keep it steady right here. And this is gonna act as a wall to the horse. So you may find that sometimes when you're steering like this, your horse may pop this shoulder out or start drifting this way. So when I have pressure on this rein and I'm holding it steady, that's gonna block the horse from unnecessarily drifting into this area. So I'm on my circle here, so my inside hand will be open slightly. And I'm gonna show you guys real quick what happens when I drop this other rein. And I'm just trying to steer with this. So you can see he can come in if he wants, or he may like push his shoulder out and drift this way or I'm sure a lot of you have been on horses where you're going around the ring and suddenly you're just in the middle of the ring and the horse just drifted over there. So let me show you what you can do when you use your outside rein or your opposite rein to correct the horse from drifting or from popping their shoulder out. So now I'm holding pressure on my outside rein right here. And as you can see, I have much more control of the shape of my circle. So I can just have this pressure to keep him from popping his shoulder or from drifting in or from drifting out. So real quick, let's discuss what to do if your horse has a habit of drifting to the inside of the ring. So a lot of lesson horses are like this and it can be really challenging if you're a new rider to understand how to correct this. So one thing you probably feel like you need to do is pull them back to the rail. So that means you feel like you have to grab this rein and pull them this way. Well, believe it or not, that actually helps them drift more into the center of the ring. Because when you pull on this rein and you leave this rein slack, the horse can pop their shoulder and kind of just go like this. So what you want to do in this situation is if you take your inside rein and hold it steady and have that pressure on it, then you can kind of steer your horse back to the fence and they won't be able to pop this shoulder out. So that'll help them stay straight and stay along the fence line. So once you understand how to steer with your reins, the next thing your instructor will teach you when it comes to steering is how to use your legs to encourage the horse to move into their turn. So right now we're gonna talk about leg pressure. 
So let me show you guys what happens when you don't use leg pressure and you're trying to steer your horse just with your reins. See, he doesn't go anywhere. All he does is turn his head one way or the other, but he's not moving forward. So if I'm standing still and I turn his head this way, how do I encourage him to move in this direction, right? So what I can do if I'm turning him this way, I can use the leg on the side that I'm turning towards and I'm gonna squeeze and see he turns in this direction then. So the leg that you're turning towards will help to encourage the horse to move their hind end and go in that direction. You can also use leg pressure to prevent your horse from drifting. So when a horse drifts, they kind of drop the shoulder of the direction they want to go in. So let's say he wants to drift this way. He'll drop this shoulder and he'll drift along and step that way. So what you can do when you apply leg pressure, that holds him back up and encourages him to straighten up and get balanced again. So he doesn't drift. Instead, he balances, straightens, and goes forward. So let's say use the example where the horse is on the fence line and they like to drift to the inside of the rein. We talked about how you can hold your inside rein steady to encourage them to stay straight, but now you can also add leg pressure to your inside leg and that's gonna hold the horse upright and not let them drop this shoulder and drift in. So that's a great way to correct that habit and it's really effective. So when you mastered steering your horse with your rein pressure and your leg pressure, the next level is to learn how to steer your horse with your seat. So when you're steering with your seat, you're gonna alter the angle of your hip to encourage the horse to go in a certain direction. So let's say I wanted Tucker to turn this way, I would open this hip and I would close this hip and that's gonna encourage him to go in this direction. He's gonna wanna move into the space that I just opened with this hip. So what this means is with this hip, I'm just gonna kinda open my thigh here and so that has that space that he can move into. And if I want to turn the opposite way, I can close it. So when you learn to steer your horse off of your seat and your legs and you get really good at it, sooner or later you'll be able to steer your horse without even using your reins. So I'll show you guys some things that I like to do with my horse and I just like to practice on just using my seat instead of the pressure on my reins to steer my horse. So if you want to get better with using your seat, we made a whole video that just talks about improving your seat as you horseback ride. So we'll put the link in the description where you can go check that out. If this video helped you out at all, please give us a thumbs up and go hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more weekly horse videos. <laughs>